Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm showing you one of those true gems from the Royal Road Card Magic. So the spectator can shuffle the cards how much they want. And the cards are returned to the magician and the spectator can pick any card they want. So let's say they pick this card. So I'm gonna look away, but you look at it and remember it. Make sure to remember it, okay? And we'll place it back into the deck, just like so. Slap these on top. Okay, so some people think that maybe some magicians can, you know, steal the card out, maybe, and uh, pl place it in the pocket or something. And I assure you, that would be a much harder trick than <laughs> this one. So, but don't take my word for it. Just, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you look at the cards just so you can make sure that your card is still in the deck, okay? So I'm just gonna go through them like this and you make sure to look for your card, but don't give anything away, okay? Okay, have you seen your card yet? Yeah, very good. Okay, have it ever happened to you that you're in a card game, let's say poker for example, and you really need one last card? Maybe the last card in a flash or a straight. You need a very specific card and you concentrate on it and it just shows up. This actually happens a lot more often that, than you might think. I'll show you what I mean. If you really concentrate on a card, really concentrate hard on it, then the cards will arrange themselves in a very peculiar way. I'll show you what I mean. So let's say I think, for example, uh, of the six of clubs, okay? So I'm just gonna spell six of clubs here. S, I, X, O, F, C, L, U, B, S. So we have the six of clubs. Now, what was your card? The six of spades, okay? Now the spectator gets to deal themselves and, and spell themselves. S I X O F S P E D E S. The six of spades. Okay, let's see how I did that. Okay guys, so before getting into the tutorial, I just want to remind you all that when we reach a thousand subscribers, we will do a really awesome giveaway and one of my favorite tricks. So make sure to subscribe for that because it's going to be worth it. Now, if you're new to this channel, we're going through the book, The Royal Road to Card Magic, which is one of the very best books for beginners. And this trick is called Grace Spelling Trick and it's on page 63 of the book. So this is how the trick is done. The spectator can shuffle the cards and uh, how much they want and return it to the magician. And as they do, you make sure to glimpse the bottom card. So if you don't know how to do that, you can watch the video popping up somewhere here. I never learned which corner, but it's some corner. But basically you're tilting the deck to glimpse uh, the bottom card. And that is going to be our key card, which is a very interesting principle in magic. Let's say they pick this card to make this a little bit easier to follow, okay? So they pick that card and they're gonna return the card. And you're gonna, they're gonna do this when you undercut the deck. So you undercut the deck like this. And how you do that is you take the deck in elevated dealings grip and then you break off about half the cards like so and let that part fall into your palm. They return their card and now our key card, the card we glimpsed, the king of clubs, is over here. And we're just gonna slap that on top. So we don't need to hold any breaks or jogs or steps or crimps or whatever here because we know that we have placed our key card right above their card. And at this point you can shuffle the deck. And you do that by shuffling normally about a third of the deck. Then you pull off about a, uh, a third uh, in one movement, a shunk, which includes the key card and their selection. So we make sure not to separate them. And we shuffle off. 
And we can do that again if we want, but simply to make sure that we don't separate the two cards. So when we start to go through the, the cards, we need a justification for this. And in the book, they give you this one that I gave in the presentation. Maybe you think I've st stolen the card and put it in my pocket, but I'm gonna show you the card. So you display the cards like this in a somewhat rapid pace, but not too rapid. And eventually you will get to your key card which is the King of Clubs. And you know that the card directly to the right of it, so to the right of your key card, is their selection. In this case, the Ace of Spades. And I'm going to spell the Ace of Spades. So as you keep pushing cards over, you start with the Ace. I'll spell A, C, E, O, F, S, P, E, D, E, S. Okay, I'm trying to spell in English here. <laughs> and then we come to the next card, which happens, happens to be the Eight of Diamonds. So you're gonna spell that as well. So it's E, I write, G, H, T, O, F, D, I. And then you continue on the face. D, I, M, O, N, D, S. And here you say, have you seen your card yet? And they're gonna say yes, because you've spelled past it. And now you're going to cut these cards to the back like so. Now, if there are cards left once you've spelled their card, then you <coughs> simply cut these to the face instead. And now you go into the presentation of the trick, whatever you want to do. If you concentrate on a specific card, uh, it will appear in a very specific uh, position or something like that. You're just gonna think of a card. So let's pretend that, that you just thought of it. So you say eight of, um, yeah, diamonds, okay? Now you're just gonna spell the eight of diamonds. So E, I, G, H, T, O, F, D, I, M, O, N, D, S. And there we have the eight of diamonds. Sorry, my spelling in English is not that great, but you get the point. And now next we have the their card, the Ace of Spades, which will be in its position. And here I like to let them deal and spell. So I give the deck to them and then they spell A, C, E, O, F, S, P, A, D, E, S, Ace of Spades. And that's the whole trick. And I promise you that this usually gets really cool reactions because you have like two magical moments in this trick. First, you just think of a card which happens to end up at its position when you spell it out. And then the magic happens in their hands and they find their cards. So it's like a double trick or whatever. Don't underestimate this trick is what I want to say. Okay, if you have any questions about this, just post them down below. And as I said, remember at the thousand subscribers, we'll have a nice giveaway and a really, really cool trick. And if you like this trick, please subscribe and uh, like it. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.